it's not going to be socially acceptable to me filming my dressing gown, is it? But it's freezing in my house. <laughs> like, it's so cold. And I'm wearing a dress because I just did a first trap for the gram, as you do. But yeah, I'm freezing and I can't bother to change. Because I'm only doing the intro. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, I love doing these mystery kind of like bags that companies do because I like I like surprises okay and then I saw that rebellious fashion which I have done previously I think it was last year and I'll be honest I should probably watch that video again because I can't remember if it was good or bad but I saw that they were doing it again and I think it was two items for like less than a fiver originally I think it's eight pound but they were doing like a deal for like four pound ninety something or something like that so naturally I bought three of the goodie bags so I've got six items to test out. Obviously the one thing I do worry about with these goodie bags is are they just going to put the same item in different colours or just the same? Because I'm pretty sure I had that once before and ugh, it's just gutting isn't it? Because the problem with these ones, you can't return them. There's a denim item in here. There's a denim item in here. For technically £2.50 for denim. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little leopard print number. I don't know, so maybe it's like a two-piece, like knitwear, loungewear. I've got, I have no idea what that is. That looks like it could be like a shirt or something. By the way, I've got all my items in a size 10. I've got some sort of green knit number. Now I'm kind of gutted that I got in a size 10 because I feel like these probably won't fit. But anyway, might as well just jump straight into the video and see. The good news is though, I haven't got anything doubled. So that's really good. Okay, so the first item, which I thought was a two-piece, technically is a two-piece, is this jumper thing. So these two are actually separate. So you've got like a little vest at the top, no, at the bottom. And you've got this like half jumpy thing. <laughs> at the top now i own nothing like this and to be honest i'd have no idea what i would wear it with but i don't know how i feel about it like like it's it's different don't get me wrong and different doesn't mean bad i'm just i just don't know how i feel about it the quality is nice like it's definitely it's soft underneath and it's warm and cozy which i need right now because i'm freezing i don't know i just feel very like it's this bit if it wasn't like that maybe if it was like this and it was just like that half cut that you can see, like I've seen it around loads of times, like people wearing them. Then I might actually like it and think it's kind of cute. It's just this flappy bit here that I'm kind of like, it just looks weird, you know? I just feel like it just floats a bit too much. I kind of wish, which I might do, like just cut it so then it's just a short one and then I think that's actually kind of cuter. I just wasn't expecting this to be honest. I mean I've never really shopped on rebellious fashion so I don't really know their style of clothing so I'd, I have no idea what to expect. The first one is not so bad. I probably wouldn't wear the vest by itself to be honest but I mean it's not too bad. I just wish this fluffy bit wasn't there. So that's the first item. Okay as expected I for the life of me can't do these jeans so I look at that. Like, <laughs> I could barely get them on, and I don't know how I'm going to get them off, I'll be honest with you. But I just wanted to try so you could see what they are like. So yeah, so these are the jeans. They're like these, I don't even know. Like, if you come to me for fashion advice, you've come to the wrong channel, because I don't know anything to do with fashion, like, with the words or anything. But they're, they're really baggy ones that seem to be, you know there's like 90 style jeans that everyone's wearing at the moment, where they're like proper baggy? This is what these are. I knew these wouldn't fit, because I am a size bigger on my bottom half than I am my top but yeah there's just no way I don't even think a size 12 would be able to fit me oh god I can't even lift up but I feel like they would have been really cute if um if they fit and they've actually made me question maybe I would start um buying this style because I don't own anything like it if you can fit in them I think this is really good to get a pair of denim jeans which they're not like anything weird that has like massive like sexy written on the back or something in like sparkling glitter like they're just normal jeans so for £2.50 that's really good it's just a shame that I can't fit into them but I'm really impressed considering okay so the next item is this what is it leopard print cheetah print a giraffe I don't know 
but this print bodysuit and although it is very thin material and it wouldn't surprise me if it's slightly see-through i'm not mad at it you know i don't own prints i'm very basic bitch and i don't own printed items but i'm not hating this i'm actually really not hating this i mean i like it as this and just wearing it with joggers and wearing it cash or i wouldn't mind like wearing this with like a pair of denim and heels like i'm really not mad at this for two pound fifty and i didn't think i would like it and yet here i am questioning everything i have known about myself for the last 27 years but i'm really not hating it and because it's stretchy it was like easy to get around the ass does that make sense because sometimes i feel like they're tight material this one's nice it will move with me i feel comfortable in it i'm really pleasantly surprised at this like i'm actually can't get over that I got £2.50 for this. Like, what? So the next item is, I, d I don't actually really know what to class this dress, but I mean, it's like a high neck. It's got a zip all the way down, long sleeves. And what color is this? Is this green, turquoise? I don't know, but I'm not mad at it. Again, this is, oh, is it meant to be a collar actually? Or is it meant to be high neck? I think it's actually meant to be a collar actually. Oh, that's cute. Again, this is something I would never go for. Maybe I would in black, but definitely not in this this colour at all. I mean, like I said, I'm a basic bitch. Like, I don't do colour. I don't know why. I feel, it's like I'm afraid for some reason. But I'm actually really not hating this. I like that it's long sleeve, so it's, like, perfect for um, this type of weather. I mean, usually with these Lucky Dips, they're, like... From the previous season so i was worried i would get a bunch of like summer stuff that's not going to be used to me now but i can easily wear this and i feel like it gives you a nice shape it doesn't cling too much to like your lumps and bumps you know how some material just clings and you're like no i do not want you to be highlighting that area i feel like it doesn't do it that much with this one i wouldn't say it's see-through maybe it's with the lighting but in the mirror it isn't see-through i actually really like this like i don't know why but i really do i wouldn't know what to wear with it though like what shoes do you wear with something like this i don't know i'd probably wear it to work but i have no idea what i would wear with this <laughs> i'm so pleasantly surprised again for two pound fifty i'm loving this it's got little weird slits though here I don't, I don't know why but we move i'm loving it so far i'm so impressed with this usually it's like terrible and it's like literally stuff that you can tell no one's bought I'm actually so pleasantly surprised right now. I'm loving this. This is such a great haul. <laughs> we have hit the first item that I'm not that keen on. It's just got loads of things that I don't like, which after wearing it, I still don't like. Does that make sense? Well, for one, I just don't like the colour. I mean, it's not too bad, actually. I thought it would actually be kind of worse. I thought I'd kind of look like Kermit the Frog. But it's just very short. Like, obviously, I'm wearing a bra underneath. But, I mean like look at that you can literally just will be able to see everything imagine if i wasn't wearing a bra i'm drunk and i'm just like yeah and then titties all out. like i can't <laughs> it's just like it's just too short in my opinion and it's got the like is it called balloon sleeves i don't i don't really know but it's just like baggy here which i'm just not a fan on but yeah the problem is for me i mean i could get past the color and i could probably get past the sleeves as well it's just it's just too short like nips will be flying it's just not a pretty sight so yeah apart from that i mean still nice quality and everything but yeah i mean i can't love everything i mean so far i've pretty much loved maybe like four no three and a half i don't know i can't really do maths four and a half items i don't know okay so we've got the final item now and i don't know what it's meant to be like is it meant to be a dress or a, a long top because i'm telling you now i won't be able to get away with this with a dress because arse cheeks will be out and obviously we just got to ignore the fact that it's severely creased but this isn't what i was expecting to be honest but i mean this is definitely something nothing i would wear ever what would you even wear with it would you wear like leather trousers with it like do i tuck into something this is the problem when i get stuff that i never wear i don't know how to style it but i mean this is attached to i just what it's just not what i was expecting do i hate it no i just have no idea what i would wear it with it's just like 
The leather part is makes it a bit more for me. I don't know, stuff like this I feel like is very girly and cutesy. Like stuff with collars and stuff like that. I don't know, I, I just never dressed like that. I ever dressed like a boy or a slut. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to do cute. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I just feel like it, it definitely makes me a lot younger. Like I'm looking in the mirror and I'm just like, I feel really young, like look very young. I know it's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm 27 and I look about fucking 15, mate. But I feel like I need to style it properly to be able to give a proper judge, but I'm not hating it at all. So that is everything that I got from Rebellious Fashion. Oh, I hit my head while I was trying to take off some clothes. <laughs> I know it hurts. And you know what? I'm actually so pleasantly surprised. Like, usually if you look at some of my previous, like, Lucky Dips, you usually get maybe one, two items that are, like, worth the money, and the rest are literally, you can just tell, they're just things that never get sold. But with these, I feel like I can literally get wear out of majority of the stuff. Like, and even though some of the stuff wasn't even my style, I'm actually really surprised at the fact that I like them. 100% <laughs> worth the £2.50. I'm just gutted that those jeans don't fit, because that would have been a bargain, mate. I would definitely be picking up another Lucky Dip from them. So far, they have probably been one of my favourites. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if there is any other, like, companies that you know do Lucky Dips, do let me know in the comments below, because I'd love to try them out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I shall see you next time.